Okay, and this is how to create a library file from your board file. So the first thing to do, load ego, and then load up your schematic, uh, not the board, otherwise it will only export the mechanical packages and not the symbols. Okay, so we've got that. Let's go to the file menu here, and down to run, and run is the runner user language program, as it says in the bottom left. Uh, so like this, and we should be scrolling down here and look for exp-project-lbr.ulp and this is the program that exports from a project a library file so let's do that okay then here's the file request that comes up um, we don't want multiple libraries what that will do is actually create a part per library um, and group them together don't want that it's kind of messy so let's select one library, it will put everything into one LBR file. Yes, we want it to generate the names uh, for us. Uh, shell scripts and dialogues is mainly for debugging and changing things around, so we don't need that. We don't need a log file either, but we'll leave it as is. Okay, working path, which is already preset. Okay, first thing to do is hit collect data. And now it's asking if it wants to export the mechanical packages from the boards, which basically means do you want to export the physical pads that will go onto the PCB? So yes, we do. I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to do that uh, unless you're creating a new type of uh, package. So hit yes, and that's it. So the next step is create library, and that's it. It now has created a library of all the parts in our board. So let's just expand that out into the devices, and there are all the parts used in the uh, Cylon. So let's just load up the AVR. There's the AVR symbol, uh, package, and then how the pins are connected for each of the different uh, types. So even though we only use the MF, uh, MLF20, the DIL and the uh, SO20L is in there as well, which is like a TSOP package. And then of course you can go in and use the regular edit symbol and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so next thing to do change the description because it just gives it a generic description and let's just call it the null space library null space day. okay hit ok which is off the screen can't see that close that library uh, do you wish to save it? yes I do okay so now there is actually a library for this um, and if we go back into the eagle browser we should see it has appeared and there it is our description, pop it out, and there's all our parts. As you can see, there's a lot of smartphone parts in there because that's what we used to initially make the board, and it will carry those names over. And then now you can just either add onto those um, different libraries and keep kind of one going. I'm trying to keep going one for all the projects we do at NSL, um, or just create multiple libraries per uh, per device, and that's it.